In this episode of Rapid Gear Review, I'm gonna be introducing you to my new traveling tripod companions, the Mifoto Road Trip and the Globetrotter. On my left, I have the Mifoto Road Trip, and on my right, I have the Mifoto Globetrotter. Now, when I first heard of Mifoto and their new lineup of these sleek, small, and colorful tripods, I was extremely skeptical. And in fact, I'm skeptical in general when it comes to tripods, just because I've had so many of them, and all of them seem to stop doing exactly what they were designed to do about six months after starting doing that. All right, so when I found out that Mifoto was actually made by Benro, and then I found out that they were a Mac Group company, and on top of that, I found out they had a five-year warranty, I decided, maybe Maybe it's time to actually look into them. So I picked up the Road Trip as well as the Globetrotter, and these are their two full-size tripod options. Both are very travel friendly, but they both offer a couple differences. The Mifoto Road Trip starts at $189 for the aluminum version, and it goes to $329 for the lighter carbon fiber variant, and that's what you see here. The aluminum version weighs only 3.6 pounds, which is already light in and of itself, but the carbon fiber version is a staggeringly light 3.1 pounds. Not bad, especially since when folded up, this takes only over a foot of space at 15 inches in length. Both versions of the road trip have a maximum load of 17.6 pounds and a maximum height of 61.6 inches. The Globetrotter over here is slightly larger, but it is a bit more robust. And the Globetrotter starts at $209 for the aluminum version. And this carbon fiber version that we have here is $369. Again, very attractive pricing for what you're getting. The Globetrotter is also slightly heavier. It's 4.6 pounds for the aluminum version and 3.7 pounds for the carbon fiber variant, but it will support up to 26.4 pounds and it can also extend to a maximum height of 64.2 inches while fitting into a tiny 16.1 inch footprint when folded up. So just barely larger than the road trip. Each of these tripods use Arca Swiss quick release place. They have twisting leg locks and really everything else that you're gonna want in a tripod. The twisting knob adjustments are smooth yet they're firm to the touch. They're very easy to use. And a nice and unique thing about the road trip is you can actually get the aluminum version in eight different possible colors, which is a nice feature if you're looking for something that's a bit more personalized. For me, I chose the carbon fiber variants of both of these because weight is really the biggest issue when I'm out and about shooting. All right, so we've gone over the tech specs. What about how this thing performs in real life? Here's the thing when it comes to most relatively inexpensive tripods. Usually when you take it home from the store, everything feels nice and great to the touch, but within a first few months, the knobs, they start to fail. The joints begin to lose their strength. I even had a Chinese made Flashpoint, uh, just a generic brand carbon fiber tripod that I got from Adorama, which wasn't cheap. At the time, I think it was 300 bucks. The leg snapped during regular use. And I don't mean like it came out. I mean, it just snapped in half. I was expecting this type of performance out of the Mifoto tripods. Sure, they're designed very well and they're priced at a bargain, but I was positive that they wouldn't be reliable. So I took my time on this review. And in fact, we took six months for this review because I didn't really believe the results or I didn't trust the results. And I've taken both these tripods on 20 to 30 shoots each. Both operate just like the day that they arrived. They've been incredibly reliable. All the knobs, all the joints, everything works identically just like the first time I used it. Now you can argue that there's a lot of tripods on the market that currently offer similar features, that have the same folding legs, that have the same small footprint, and that are this light. So what's so new and great about Mifoto? Well, it's the fact that we have the combination of unique colors, quality tripods that are well-designed, they're reliable, they have a solid five-year warranty, and they combine all of that with a low price. And that's what makes them so special, is you get the whole package and it's actually affordable. So I've tossed my old heavy Manfrotto, well, I shouldn't say tossed because I still dig Manfrotto products, but I use them for heavier type shooting, like if we're gonna use it in the studio or we need to do filming and so forth. I'm using these two tripods now exclusively on all of my uh, basically outdoor shoots, anywhere where I just need light tripods that get me into my place. So I use the road trip for exactly that. When I'm traveling and shooting with less gear, I need more portability, I go with a slightly smaller option. It's optimal for point and shoots, micro four thirds, smaller DSLR setups. It can support up to 17.6 pounds. So as long as you're not loading it up with larger lenses, it's totally fine. If you are, then I'd recommend you go with the Globetrotter. Generally with the professional shoots, I'm using the Globetrotter. It's just a bit more stable under the large load, but both are incredibly light. They're very small compared to my past tripods. And when it comes to traveling, they both fit easily in my carry-on luggage. So to me, Photo, I wanna say great job on these tripods. They're both very light and portable. They're reliable, well-designed, well-built. They have five-year warranties and they're affordable. You've checked off basically all my points to make it easy to give this a five-star rating. So great job, hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.